Well, as what happens in the in the theater world, um, we were originally going to do Legally Blonde, um, but we couldn't get the rights, and so it just happened that the um, that the tour, the national tour, was going around, and they were going to be close to where we are, so we had to drop back and punt. And then the Adams Family actually was suggested by Brandon Wallace, our technical director, as something that he really wanted to work on. And it's so rare that you have uh, tech and design, you know, contributing shows that then, that's that, you know, most of the time they're like, ah, whatever, you know. <laughs> but the fact that they were really excited about it, and it's like, well, I can be really excited about that too. Great, let's do it. So. It was, it really started there, and then the more we read it, we were like, I think this is going to be a really great project for our students. There's a chance for something kind of fantastical. We knew we were going to have it around Halloween. It just felt like it just kind of slid into place, so. <laughs> Lindsay's amazing. I mean, she's so creative. She's got such great ideas that the students love to work with her, and I felt like from the first day, uh, she was like, what do you think about this? And I was like, well, I like this, and then what about this? And then it was very collaborative, which I think is just amazing. And Candy is musical director, like she knows what she's talking about. She knows, she presents material in a slightly different way than I would, which is great because you want, I mean, that's the whole point of having different voices and different perspective is that somebody's gonna say it. I might say it one way and then she says it another way and the person goes, oh, I get it now. And that's the dream, right? Is that we're all bringing something beautifully different. But yeah, it's been a really great collaborative process. Um, well, it's interesting um, having three women sort of uh, in control of directing dance or choreography and the music. Um, but I gotta say, I didn't even know that that was happening. I didn't know that was unusual or this is different, anything like that, until about, I don't know, the fourth weekend, and it suddenly it dawned on me. I thought, that's really interesting. Our director's female, choreographer's female, I'm female. I don't think I've ever had this experience before. And I stopped and thought about it, and it dawned on me it's no different than any other show. I mean, we all just get down and get to work, and if we, need to collaborate on things, we collaborate on things. I don't know if the the cast members and the tech crew, um, especially the female uh, cast members and tech crew, I don't know if they're looking at us and going, hmm, we can do that. I don't know if they're actually thinking about it, um, but we know that we are always setting an example. You know, um, that's the cool thing about being in higher education. I know I'm I'm so aware that I'm a role model for somebody. And if they say, look, Candy did that, I can do that, then good, I've done my job.